Hello, I'm Ron of Hanks of Mars, and this is a Tyranny Watch News special field report. Sandinista communists in Rochester are protesting the uh, democratically elected president-elect Donald Trump. I'm going to bring you this report from the University of Rochester, hopefully. I don't know my way around. I am making my way to the protest grounds right now. This is a Tyranny March News special field report. Hi, would you have any comments on your uh, Communist Party activities? Those are a couple of protesters. They are Communists. They are Sandinistas. I have yet to find a protest. They wouldn't answer me. I just got lucky I was up in Henrietta in New York and I heard about the Sandinista the communists protesting up here. Statue over there, I don't know who that is. Take a look at it later if I have time. I've been passing a number of Sandinista communists uh, here on the UMAR campus. I don't know how much further I have to go. There are a couple of the communists down there. The campus is directly ahead of me. Those are Sandinistas as well. American Sandinistas, not be concerned fused with the Nicaraguan Sandinistas. Uh, here we have some of the American Sandinista communists. I'm going to say this one more time. Don't confuse them with the Nicaraguan communists. Same basic principle, but just for clarity, they're not the same. Hang on. And you can clearly see the group of uh, Sandinista, American Sandinistas, on the other side of the street. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight communists. I'm believing that this uh, protest is probably winding down because I've been passing them right and left. But we'll see. It should be said that this was a spur of the moment thing. I think I already said that. I was up in Henrietta when I heard that the uh, communists were going to be up here on this campus. Of course, the radio doesn't call them communists, but that's what they are. This was a peaceful protest. Nobody's been doing anything in the way of violence, as far as I know. I think eventually I'll uh, reach the source. I'm not going to go very much further before I'll say the uh, heck with it and head on back to my car. Okay, I'm going to keep this running as long as I can. There's a, there's a steady stream of these uh, American Sandinista communists coming out of somewhere. It's going to be mighty bouncy. But occasionally I will take time to uh, stop and document. I already knew... Uh, that our schools have this level of communist indoctrination. 
I was very well aware of it, but my first time seeing it firsthand, at least in the uh, modern era. Would you care to share your experiences in the Communist Party? Okay, for documentation purposes, you're seeing something called Wallace Hall. Not familiar with it. And I am climbing uphill, and apparently the protesters came from the right. Alright, as usual, the camera isn't cooperating. It's one of those uh, Bell and Howell Road Vision ones. You got a big problem with it. The uh, part that's supposed to hold the battery and broke off. I don't even know why it did that. Anyway. I see the uh, They're going to take a chance. I think the protest area is on the right. Yes, it is. Well. Hang on. I'm not sure what we have. Yes, these are American Sandinista the communists. No doubt about it. They're carrying a couple flags that I'm not familiar with. These are people who basically hate America, they hate freedom, they hate representative government, they hate the Constitution. Up ahead of me is the main protest area. So I'm going to put this on hold for just a minute until I get up to the protest area. And then we are going to document. And sorry for all the jerkiness, but I just walked close to a mile to get here. Okay. Just for documentation, this is Eastman Quadrangle, whatever that means. It's like a big square. And the Santa Anistas are up ahead. I don't know what that big building is. I am not familiar with this campus. However, it's a relatively easy way, easy for me to uh, get back. I'm not going to get lost. I'm very good outside and not so good inside. Okay, I'm not 100% certain what's going on here. But I'm the speaker's uh, words are inconsistent with his actions. I need to get in visual range of the signs, but I don't think there's going to be any surprise. Those around you. Hug those around you. 
crowd and express your love for each other. I'm going to be keeping a good distance. And that their feelings are validated. I'm going to have to look up those red and black flags. I have no idea what that means. That's a new one. Communists leaving right now. They've been trickling out of here. I think this is going to break up pretty soon. The way I found it was I saw people trickling out of this area one after the other, so I figured this is the direction I wanted to come in. Last report, last report I heard, Donald Trump is all, had picked up Arizona, which is 11 electoral votes. If that report was accurate, accurate that would put him at 301 electoral votes overall, and not all the popular vote has been counted, so possibly he may take the popular vote as well. Not all the votes have been counted. We need to be clear on that. Now, he uh, somebody defeated her in the uh, electoral votes. And that's really what count, counts. You work for the electoral votes. You don't look for, work for the popular votes. Shrewd guy. I just hope he does what he says he's going to do. I'd say there's about 300 here. Okay, um, I'll make this short. Just a few logistical items. Um, the Humanity Center is having a continued dialogue just inside the Humanity Center. Also, post your photos everywhere. We're trying to make this a movement, so make it big. Hashtag Not My America. Um, yeah, share. The other thing you have to remember is that Hillary Clinton took New York. So in other words, these people think their votes weren't counted, but they were. Hillary Clinton took New York. That's what we are all feeling. Fair and square. And for all those people who are saying, why are you here? You can't take him out of office. Maybe, but also, I just wanted to see all these people with all this humanity come together and show that show everybody. This is not the Yeah, that 
midterm elections are a very real way to take back power. So make sure Talk about you're surreal. We the guy with the back the pack. pack. This hand says Patriot on it. Okay. Non sequitur. Um, yeah, so the fight continues. Um. <laughs> and I'm going to kill this camera if it doesn't pick up the audio this time. Hold on, there's one more thing I have to say. Uh, also, okay. I think we also need to remember that this is not just about like one side versus the other. This is about a political system that has failed us. So. This isn't just about educating your fellow countrymen, it's about educating your leaders. A good democracy depends on good leaders. So make sure that you are getting all the terrible people that, that have failed us for so long out of Ladies and gentlemen, it's a lie. We live in a representative republic. So that is a lie. Liar, liar, pants on fire. The Students Association really wants to say something about Standing Rock. It's really important. Um, A few hundred people here, uh, the cold, we got a real cold wind that's been driving people away. I'm a little bit tougher than that, I don't mind a little bit of cold. I got my jacket open, so I'm perfectly comfortable. Before Trump was born, a thousand years before Alaska was a state, a thousand years before the United States existed, a thousand years before Europeans were here on this continent, this land, for my people, was Nunavut, our land. And I want you all to remember, this is our land. This is... <laughs> this is... Um, this is our country, this is Nunavut, this is our land. This is not Donald Trump's country. Now they're saying that Donald Trump doesn't belong in this country. That is bullshit. I'm sorry. And the, the most spiritual thing for our people to say and to dance. And when our people sing and dance, um, I feel that spiritual strength that I'm feeling right here. And at the end, at the end, at the end of a dance, um, at the end of a, of a prayer, we say Bangla, um, and some people say that means encore, but it means more like we have to do this again. We have to do it another time. We have to we have to do it another time to get it right. So remember. One thing I'm sure proud to see is that this is peaceful. Portland, Oregon is being destroyed right now. I in Rochester, Portland, Oregon is being destroyed by communists. Look it up if you don't believe me. We all need to do this for Standing Rock. Rough to me, I'd roll in half tracks. Oak Flat, for Muscat Falls, for all of the... For all of the at all of the places that indigenous people, people of color, um, at all of the places we're fighting for our rights. So, um, Koyana Chakna, um, thank you all very much for doing this. Thank you for coming here today!
got it. They are calling for violent revolution. You heard it from Artifacts and Lives first. We can't stop the revolution. Uh, there's certain patriots with guns that can. We got news for them. Well, the rally is breaking up, and I need to get back to my vehicle. This has been a Tyranny Watch News special field report. Sandinista Communists, American Sandinista Communists, at the University of Rochester campus. Very massive communist gathering. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Keep your uh, powder dry and keep your guns well oiled.